She's tight. She's got good silicon uh, silicon wiring. We've got a Rubicon capacitor. That's promising. MXR series Rubicon capacitor. Our main inputs, which is Oh, here we go. The top comes off. Well, that makes it easier. I'll take the front off. We'll have a look, good look inside this thing. The big transformers. Okay, that looks very promising, this one. Another fan in there. Plenty of um, big uh, Tyrell coils. Transformers in there. Inductors. Looking promising. I'll take the front off. Have a really good look inside this thing. Because it so far looks pretty good. Okay, well, it looks pretty good. You've got your adjustment there. You can... Turn this thing into a variac. If you adjust that or one of these, you can use it like a variac to ramp the voltage up. There's our sockets. They've got some circuit boards in the back there. Okay, well they're going to the meter for measuring current, which are going to these resistors, which are going to various functions on the display. Jesus, I'm going to put some solder on those, I think. And they're going to take two and a half kilowatts through those little wires. That's about 11 amps. So, um, yeah, I think it will. I think it will take 11 amps. Check the earthing. Let's earth here. Ground. Okay, let me just check. The earthing on the bottom. The black wire is our earth. Let's go on the neutral there. What's going on there? Have a look at that. I'm going to need some checks. I've got a black wire going to the case. Yeah, that's our earth. It's earth to the case. And let's go into the case. Yep, that's right there. These aren't. No, these aren't silicon graded wire. Okay, Mishto ones. This is this is silicon wire. But this isn't. Swadak transformers. 2,000 watts. 4, 6,000 watts. Jesus. 12 volt, 220 volt, 2000 watts. Okay, maybe it is. Yeah, it looks promising. A lot of uh, surface mech components. Okay, looks really well made. There's a Chinese even Verto after all. That's the pure sine wave brains there. Got these, which is good, because it means it's going to put out a clear signal. I just don't like it have done that, because in Mish Day 1, this sort of stuff's on the main board. But with this particular Edekoa, they put that sort of circuitry on this board here. This goes to the front panel and gives you your, your current and voltage readings. They put it on the back of these power points. What I could do is jump, jump with this and split it and put it in here. In here, in here, and here. This looks like it could be a weak point, but it's quite a lot of copper on that. And it's quite a wide trace between the active and neutrals. So it would... It'll do it. Yeah, it's quite a wide trace. It would do 10 amps, 11 amps, or 240 volt. I have seen appliances of traces like that. The Mishta has got big traces like that for a 1500 watt inverter, but... So I can, uh... Well, if I'm this thing will do 10 amps all day, every day. Yeah, well, I'll definitely put some solder all over that. Just build all these traces up with a lot of solder to thicken it up. That looked like it could, it could get hot a little bit if I'm putting 10 amps all day through this thing. Which doing that will just pull 300 amps in your batches all day. You need a massive amount of solar panels to then it regenerate and recharge. We've got a 105 degree Celsius threaded. That's 105 degree Celsius threaded. 450 volt, 560 microfarad. That's going to make a hell of a bang when I connect this. Connections are tight. 2003 QC2. Hmm. The old stuff. It looks okay. There's your the fuses. Has one, two, three, six, nine. Bloody hell. 90, 80. Yeah, 27. 9, 18, 270 amps of fusing. There's all fuses in parallel on the positive. But they've split the positives to this half, this half, and this half. It's all parallel for those transformers here. Low ASR, these capacitors in here, and a low ASR. Looks pretty well made. With the Times near Beijing, or Times near Shanghai, the Chinese version of Times near Roman there. 
Okay, well, it looks, it looks promising. This looks promising. We have heat sinking inside and on the outside. All right, we'll put this thing back together. I quite like it so far. That's what I want to see. This move more. This you have when you peel a sideways inverter. The cleaner the output's going to be, and it's got extra cooling. No doubt these fans are probably going to need a bit of a, a drop of oil. Because the mesh day ones were noisy. It's quite chunky in there. Yeah, it looks all right. All right, put it back together and give it a test. Edit colours on the screen, yeah, I've got a genuine edit colour. I did my checks, Earth continuity is good, active to the energy of the posts and the body, nothing. Neutral to negative of the battery or the case, nothing. That's good. So far, so good. Well, I can't really pull a hundred, I can't really fully load that loading on this pissy little wiring, can I? <laughs> That's to be expected, only for tests. Yeah, 12.4 volts, 12.6 there. But I've not got the right cabling here. Not the right cabling, that's not gonna work, is it? But that's set like a nice clean running sine wave on this that vacuum cleaner. Let's try a, uh... hmm, what could I try? Well, I can't run a welder. It would run it, but not for long, because it's a 15 amp appliance. And those wires are too small going to that inverter. 600 watt heater. That's what could I run? Hmm. Oh, I'm an air compressor. <laughs> Let's try that. It might do it. It might start it on that wiring, but we'll see what it does. I'll see your attempt to run it on that underrated, ridiculously underrated wiring. We'll see how it reacts with that shitty wiring there. Attempt to run an air compressor through that rated wiring. It probably won't, but see how it goes with ridiculously underrated supply cable. Okay. Putting that to 147 volts at 12.4 volts. It might be a bit high. I can adjust that though in the book, the voltage. Yes! It does! Ha ha, yes! With these too. Oh, they're warm. Here's my wigs. Oh, that's warm. That's a bit toasty. A little bit though. We didn't run for very long because those cables. Piss those cables off, get a big battery. That sounded like a smooth power. I'm gonna run this and set up my oscilloscope via a transformer because of the input voltage my oscilloscope won't take more than 100 volts. Hook this up through my scope, load the air compressor up on it, an inductive load like that, and look at the waveform. The my mesh days, even my big mesh day wasn't powerful enough to run that. That's awesome. I might nurse it a bit there, make sure the fans actually come on. So they're connected and everything, but there has been Chinese versions of these inverters, not this brand, but cheaper brands, like sold too good to be too too good to be true ones. And they had the fans never come on in those sorts of cheap ass models and they uh, went bang. So I'm gonna nurse this thing a bit, make sure the fans do actually come on. They run the air compressor. Nice! That's awesome! Take not barely in mind, it's a five amp motor at full load on this air compressor. That's gonna suck about 50, 60 amps constantly off your battery, so. There's no way that pissy little wire is gonna pull 60 amps. No way. You can't get 60 amps through that. And bear in mind, no earth. I'm happy with that. That sounded like a clean amount of sine wave going through that air compressor. It ran out all right. Awesome. It actually started normally without slow starting it or soft starting it, so it's not bad at all. I could run the air tools if there's a power outage. 
Man, this is pretty good for the price. It's made cheap Chinese generating sets obsolete. It's pretty much what this is, a, a gen set, but solid state. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching. G'day viewers, I've ordered the uh, Edekawa has arrived. Hopefully it's not a dead Edekawa. This is what I was talking about. This is the only one I could see that has the actual Australian sockets on it. Most of all the other ones I've seen are a hard wire option. We'll have the Chinese sockets for the earths at the top. Well, they're the Chinese uh, sockets. These are the proper Australian sockets. Oh, the Chinese, I'm strong in this one. This one smells. Two and a half thousand watts, which means it says here you're going to need a 300 amp hour battery minimum. 300 amp hour minimum. One hour, three minutes run time. It's going to suck at least 300 amps through these 150 amp rated cables. Maybe give me a spare fuses. It is a lot heavier than my Mish Day one, though. It's very, it's probably twice the weight of my Mish Day inverter. My 1500 watt one, that is. These never came with any spare fuses, and they came with adequate rated cabling. So this isn't as good as a mesh day, but it is a pure sine wave, and 87% uh, efficient. Where my mesh days are 90% efficient. I want to open this up, because I want to make sure that the earthing is actually right in this thing. Make sure the earthing in the sockets is compliant. I'm going to do a test from a negative to earth, make sure that the, the earth's not tied to negative. That's only a problem if you got a, um, if you want to do a grid tie system, but I'm going to do it anyway, make sure that's not part of the actual uh, earthing system, I mean neutral. I think some inverters are cheaper ones, but they make a cheaper version of this, not this brand, but like Renner, some other bloody brand, but they make a Chinese knockoff of this one, which is a a bit dodgy, so I stayed away from that. This one had the best reviews out of all the Edekawa models that are on eBay. So this is actually one of the best reviews, so I grabbed this one. Uh, that's heavy. I don't know what I put it there. I wonder what I would have loved if I put it at the back. Anyway, that's what I think I really like about the Mishtos. When I pull the front cover off, I just make sure the uh, Actually, I'll put it back off. See what the actual wires are to these, are these posts like inside. I want to make sure we've got adequate rating for the, uh, as I said, pulling two and a half kilowatt fully laden this thing will pull around 300 amps at 12 volts. So I want to make sure that the wiring in there is adequately rated for that. Boy, that smells of China. That smell, you probably get that if you visit a Guangdong or the other manufacturing electronic regions of China. I mean, that smell is pretty much in the air 24-7. Must be a lot of people getting high there. Anyway, it's relatively well documented. It's a bit more well documented than my Mishto. The uh, manual that came on my Mishto inverters isn't as, uh, well, it's, isn't as um, fully uh, big as this one. This is a relatively uh, clean output, pure side wave inverter. Anyway, so I get the back off this, I want to make sure the, uh, have a good look inside there. 